Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's great to have you in my little corner of YouTube where we speak all things adulting, faith, and lifestyle. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That red button must turn gray. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other videos you'd like to see. Share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it. And last but not least, hit those notification bell so that you do not miss another video. So without wasting any more time, let us get straight into today's video. So happy new year. This is the first video of this year. So happy, happy, happy new year. I hope you guys entered properly and safely and that you guys have hit the ground running with your 2023. So today's video is not going to be a long one, but these are things that I thought I should share that I am doing to get my life in order at the start of this new year. However, before I get into it, I want to say one thing. I don't believe in new year, new me. I don't believe in new year, we're starting afresh. You can restart, you can reinvent yourself at any point in the year. It's just that I happen to be in a season of my life right now where I am ridding myself of a lot of the past and that is why I am sharing this video at this moment because this is the season that I am in. You guys can come back to this video in August and it will still be relevant because you can restart your life and recreate your life and all of that stuff at any point in the year. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. I wanted to rid us of the connotation of new year, new me. I don't believe in it. It's not a thing for me. If it is for you, no offense, but for me, you can have a new you every single day. Like it doesn't have to be at the beginning of the year for it to be a new you, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to be sharing five things that I have and am doing to get my life in order before the year gets hectic and so that I can hit the ground running um, and do it well and do it with purpose and intention and all of that stuff. Before I share the first one, I do feel like I'm all over the place and that is simply because I haven't sat down for a sit down in a couple of weeks, if not a month. So I feel everywhere, man. Like, so please bear with me. But let's get into the first one. The first thing that I'm doing to get, or the first thing that I have done, because it's something I have done, um, to get my life in order at the start of this year is to make sure that my goals are updated and set for the new year. And also I have planned and strategized how to get those goals achieved and how to get those goals ticked off by the end of the year. Um, I have two, one or two videos, two videos on my YouTube channel regarding goal setting. One came out literally a month ago and one came out last year this time um regarding goal setting so i'm not going to delay with this point do check it out i'll link both of the videos in my description box so that you guys can check them out after this video after you have watched this entire video um just to see how i go about setting goals um it is always an ever updated um you know method for me there's always a different method to my madness um but yeah i have shared both with you right now and It'll probably change by next year but at the moment those are the tips and tricks that are working for me so yeah that's that point number one we're done make sure your goals are set and make sure you have plans in place make sure you have timelines in place and so forth the second thing that i am currently doing is having conversations with the people that um, have always given me expertise in my life so my mentors whether it is my spiritual mentor, my career mentor, my business mentor, I have started having those conversations. I actually had a session with my career mentor today, literally a couple of hours ago, um, because these people are people who are able to, number one, connect you to the networks that you need um, to hit the goals that you want to hit, but also share their knowledge as well as give you guidance on you know goals that you have set for the year um today my mentor told me that the goals that i set for this year or some of my career goals that i set for this year aren't stretch goals like i thought they were stretch goals if you don't know what a stretch goal is do check out my previous goal video um but she said these are low hanging fruits you know and that i should probably consider reaching a bit higher up when it comes to my career goals so yeah we still have work to do with that because clearly i'm trying to relax and she's not allowing me to relax um, but i appreciate her nonetheless but have those conversations with your mentors it's extremely important do let me know if you want me to have um you know a video about the importance of mentoring um i've been you know very close to mentors and I started building my mentor network um, I think when I was in second year or third year so that was 2018 2019 and I haven't looked back it's been so um, 
rewarding i think to have mentors in my life um i was very nerve uh, it was very nerve-wracking in the beginning because i am a very socially awkward person and i don't know how to speak to people and i'm very shy and very reserved and all of that stuff um but i've had to break out of my shell especially with my mentors and by breaking out of my shell they're able to give me the best that they can give me um because i'm vulnerable on my end as well so definitely look into getting a mentor even if it's just one I know I mentioned that I have three but even if it's just one um, who can help you make decisions who can um, be a you know talking someone to talk to um, someone to throw ideas at and get their opinions on because these people are extremely extremely valuable I have actually started paying it forward by mentoring people as well. I don't have the capacity to mentor a whole lot of people, but I do have two or three people in my corner that I'm mentoring as well. Um, and I think by paying it forward, I'm able to just, you know, bring that, pass on the blessing to other people as well, which I'm absolutely loving at the moment. The third thing that I am currently doing is praying and fasting for the year ahead. If you attend my church, Hope Restoration Ministries, you would know that we are currently in our prayer and fasting week for the beginning of the year. Um, and I think quite a lot of other churches have their prayer and fasting around this time as well. So praying and fasting allows God to be at the center of everything that you want to achieve this year, but it also allows you to align with him and hear what he wants you to do this year because many are the plans of a man's heart but God's plan always prevails and if you aren't aligned with him then it gets awkward because then you say God didn't answer your prayers and didn't help you achieve your goals when the goals that you said weren't to glorify him and all of that stuff so make sure you're aligned with God um, at the beginning of this year make sure you pray you fast rid yourself of any distractions so that you can hear his voice clearly um, I think is extremely important especially at the beginning of the year even though I fast multiple times throughout the year at the beginning of the year I think that's the one that is the biggest for me um, simply because I think it sets you know the tone for the rest of my year um, so definitely praying and fasting that is the third thing that I'm currently doing um, as I get my life together for the beginning or for the rest of this year the fourth thing that I am doing and this is something that I do continuously is setting things in place that will support my personal development for me this includes working out every day it includes reading for at least 15 minutes every day it includes journaling and includes seeing my therapist once a month there's so many things that I am doing that are you know focused at my personal development um, I think this helps as well because it allows um, you to cultivate a spirit or a behavior of discipline and consistency um, and I've definitely seen that and this is something that I do every single year I think I got very serious with this from mid last year when my life felt like it was crumbling in front of my eyes and I put these things in place and they definitely helped keep me sane especially the journaling and the therapy part um, therapy guys it's painful but very rewarding anyway so set things in place that you want to see yourself looking back at at the end of the year and saying hey I did the most in this department of my life and personal development for me is something I'm extremely passionate about so I've set those things in place this is just a few of the things that I'm um, sharing with you guys but the list is so much longer things like cleaning my space things like setting boundaries things like putting my phone on do not disturb at a certain point um, or at a certain time of the day there's so many things that I've put in place um, for my personal development that will allow me to not just look at my career because I am a very career focused hun, um, but I am more than my career. I need to develop in other areas of my life as well. So I need to be strict about the things that I set in place for my personal development as well. The last thing that I'm doing, which is number five, is getting my budget in place and setting it out, adjusting it as I should. I'm not going to talk much about this because I am planning to put out a video with one of my favorite youtubers we are collaborating and you guys are going to see the video very 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 soon um, regarding budgeting especially as a young adult especially as someone who is straight out of varsity someone in your 20s um, I'm super excited for that video we will where we will be speaking about budgeting and how to get that in place at the beginning of this year um, so yeah I'm not going to speak too much about that but getting your budget in order is extremely important it's January guys you shouldn't be feeling like it's January you should be feeling like it's any other month of the year but if your budget is not in place from January next year January you're gonna be worrying 
January. You're going to be worrying next year, January, if your budget right now is not in place for the rest of the year. So yeah, so these are things that I am doing to get my life in order at the beginning of the year. The biggest thing for me is goal setting. So do check out those videos. Um, but everything else on this um, list that I shared is extremely important as well. So with that, please do share some of the things that you do that are rituals, um, traditions that you do at the beginning of every year that help you get your life in order. Um, I'd love to hear um, what you guys do. I think these are things that we can learn from each other and maybe these are things that we can pick up from each other as well. So definitely do share what you guys do to get um, your momentum going and all of that stuff at the beginning of a new year or at the beginning of a reset period for you. Um, like I mentioned, it's not just at the beginning of the year where you can reset and do some of these things or all of these things actually. Um, you can wake up at any point of time in the year and decide to do these things so with that we've reached the end of today's video don't forget to comment like subscribe and share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it and happy new year once again and with that with so much love and so much light from me to you have an amazing rest of the day stay safe and god bless bye guys